Hello everybody. Uh, so, uh, continuing the themes of arpeggios, um, I want to show you how you can use arpeggios for actually constructing scales. Um, really just showing how um, scales and uh, chords, arpeggios are related, that you can't have one without the other really. Um, so, so if we start out with um, something like a, a C major, what we're we doing here, root C, third is E, and the fifth is um, is G. So we're playing root third fifth. Then it stands to reason. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Um, so if we're doing that, then we can also I just get a get a pick. Um, I think I've got this habit of playing with my fingers, but anyway, get a pick. So we can do these sort of patterns. about your scales then the, the more if, if, if you actually know where your scales are and then you can recognize where the arpeggio is say like I think I threw you a little bit with that one sort of quite almost like neoclassical but it really is just you're just doing exercises over the arpeggios so um, basically like you can take any arpeggio um, if you're going root third fifth seventh ninth eleventh thirteenth then you can add the um, add the even numbers in there and you get, and you get a scale all right uh, thanks for watching I'll see you next time